everybody horseman here and i'm going to be bringing to you one last rogue video um, before i wanted to do that stream simply because i thought the early rogue was really cool and it was just awesome being able to zip around and, and do a bunch of things so i figured i'd use that as an opportunity to go ahead and show you some additional content and show you how the uh, rogue does its thing so and i did say in that video that i was going to also put out this video um, as a means to kind of show you how it performs at the beta's max level, which is 25. And I'm not, obviously I'm not at max level. It was like, I wanted to do it while I was in the 20s. Spe specifically 23, because then I have access to one of the ultimates. So every class gets an ultimate. And um, I have shown a few of them already in some of my various videos uh, with other classes, but I have not yet done this one for the rogue. So here we go. Um, this is fun. So I decided to go melee rogue, obviously, from my last my last video, and I've been having a blast with it. And it's only just gotten better since uh, that last video. So now that I'm 23, I do have the ultimate. It is called Shadow Clone, so it's gonna uh, clone myself, and it's gonna do all the things that I do against the enemies, and it just gets nuts. So enjoy this dungeon is probably one of the better uh, side quests that you can do. Um, the whole thing uh, starts off with a father's at a bridge. You see him right there uh, near Kyovashad saying that his son has been haunting him and he's of course asking you to do something about it, right? Uh, it tells a sob story about how uh, his son was uh, killed somebody they found him and they and they uh, the authorities brought him to the black asylum uh, the black asylum was eventually abandoned by its caretakers and so the people inside just kind of went nuts some escaped but the rest of them just straight up started killing each other um so we're here to investigate and find out what the hell's going on another thing you'll notice is that i do have a sword that is kind of fury and this is the first weapon that i that i've picked up that actually does this and believe it or not this weapon is a uh is it's a rare but it's unique in the sense that it has a special model um and honestly it was a lot more powerful than anything that i had had uh previously but i love the fact that we have the that kind of white flame coming off of the black blade uh, and it's very reminiscent of um, the Dark Saber from um, Star Wars. And I just thought this was really cool. Lost of time, there's no question the wielding is dark power, leaves an incredible stain on one's soul. It also reminds me of the Necrosword from the Marvel Universe. Anyway, nothing to do with Rogue specifically, but I thought it was really cool. I got it from a unique um, elite mob that was just in the mountain somewhere. So playstyle hasn't really changed a whole lot, except I do have poison in view now, which is uh, good fun. I also have my... Uh, my trait, my uh, class trait. So let's look at that right now. So class traits, I can either do combo points or I can do inner sight. And then at level 30, I'll be able to do this thing called preparation, which allows me to, as I spend resources, uh, tick down the time on my, uh, my shadow clone. So this preparation would actually be the best for this build um, because I do go through quite a bit of my uh, my resource, especially using Twisting Blades and uh, Shadow Step. So I, I do wish that I had access to this. Um, I could also do attack marked uh, enemies to fill up your inner sight gauge. Well, when it's full, gain unlimited energy for four seconds. And I just, I think this is stupid. Um, unless I'm using some type of channeled skill, I don't see um, any point in that, personally. Things 
has certainly slowed down a little bit in terms of killing things. <laughs> As they usually do, the higher level you get. But I've also noticed that my luck in finding legendaries is terrible. I am just not finding any. The ones that I do have were crafted. I take that back. I did get a couple um, rings. And I can't believe I even caught those on video. Additionally, I got attacked by the Butcher. That will be in another video altogether, if you haven't seen it already. Um, so check it out. That was fun. The video started after I had already initiated the fight, because that's I don't know how that fight works. It doesn't, it's not like you just walk up to you, it just comes out and starts wrecking your face. But uh, one thing I did find is that um, that was my first time at, at getting attacked by the Butcher during the open beta and the early active beta, and I still uh, utterly whooped his butt. I say utterly whooped his butt, I mean it took forever to do it, but the dude did not hardly hurt me at all. Now and then there's a weird ability lag. I mean, maybe I missed something and I didn't notice that it was actually still on cooldown or something or what, but I have noticed that sometimes uh, it's not being very responsive. Excellent. So it's my clone. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Synchronized. I would love to upgrade my boots, but that ability is just too damn cool, and I cannot extract it from this particular legendary because it's in is in and of itself imprinted. Oh, unstoppable. Duh. Okay, there we go. Now that is something I need. So when I hit 25, I can use I can get that. Yeah, that's a good one. Twisting blades. Rank one. I need more time. Tell me what to do.
Yeah, nice. Need more time. Nice rubber band. Yeah, it's another problem. Every now and then, like, I wanted to target the dude behind. Going over there. So, largely for the reason that the Butcher didn't completely whip my butt, um, I honestly think it's because of my ability to get behind him. So, you hear him. Poor Trust. He never once had the courage to face me, Father Life, Father Life, Father Life. rings. Maximum life, though. Extra damage to close enemies and slow dem enemies. <sighs> I'll try that out. 
I'm not ready yet. All. So there's three more somewhere in probably up here. I'm not ready yet. Yeah. Gosh, I hate it when stuff like this happens. Makes for a very, very boring video. I'm not video. ready yet. Come on. Yep. Oh, just sitting in the corner. Please, take it back from them. Let it end. I guess I failed. Bummer. I'm not ready yet. Push the button.
common bow. That's that's it. But it has two sockets, so that's nice. All right. I mean, that's pretty much going to be uh, Rogue in a nutshell, uh, at least for the beta. Na Oops. <laughs> at least for the beta. Now, granted, I'm going to end up likely playing ranged when this goes live, uh, just because I... I enjoy the ranged, and as much as fun as this has been, and, and it really is, it's very flashy, uh, and I would, and it's probably not the greatest build that I'm working on right now. Never mind, just uh, just really craptastic drops. Um, I would still like to be able to uh, do ranged. I love range of arrows. I love um, a lot of the abilities like piercing arrow, things like that, um, that just worked really well, especially with combo points. Um, so expect to see that when this goes live. I will be playing June 2nd. I'm still also debating whether or not I want to start off with a Necromancer or with my Rogue. So um, stay tuned for that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this video. I do have one more video coming um, that's going to be about the Druid. Once I ding to 25, I'm going to start on my Druid playthrough. And I expect to be doing the same thing as I did previously. Unless something crazy happens. Um, I don't think I'll be doing a sub-20 uh, video. I'm going to probably do it around 23 again, and uh, hopefully you get that out today or tomorrow morning. All right, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you all later. Horseman, out.